Welcome Pisces. I'm back y'all with another video. <laughs> Let's do this guys. I was sitting here thinking like, did I do, no, did I do December monthlies? I did not. So I went back and I started a different, a whole different series when I'm like, hold on, I didn't even start, I didn't even do November readings. I don't know where my where my head is right now <laughs> but let's get this train rolling guys let's get this thing going let's see what messages we have for pisces for the month of december <laughs> let's see pisces this is going to be a monthly read november i'm sorry december i keep wanting to say november I don't know. I'm just like still stuck in November. I don't know what's going on. All right. So, oh yeah. Before uh, we jump into guys, if you are new to the channel, welcome. I am the Empress. I'm happy to be here with you to get today. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> happy to be here with you today. Okay. If you do like this channel, okay? We would love to have you here as part of our community. Go ahead and click that bell to subscribe because I'm telling you now you're not going to want to miss out on future videos. Um, as well, guys, if you want to book a personal reading, I am doing new client specials, okay? So you can reach out to me via email. All that information is in the drop box below. As well, guys, you could check out my website where I sell... Uh, Evil eye bracelets for protection, okay, against the evil eye, uh, intention oils, okay, fragrance oils, all of that, guys, is on the website, okay. Um, all that information is in the drop box below, all right. So let's talk, Pisces. I gotta push this back just a little so I can have some space to work with. Okay. Pisces. Oh, look at you, Pisces, the queen of pentacles. Okay, so it looks like you are focused on your pentacle. All right. Some of y'all are dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Page of Cups. Okay. And the world. And the Nine of Wands. Okay. Are you avoiding somebody? Some of y'all are breaking free from someone or a situation. Okay, somebody here is breaking free. Somebody here, you guys are having the courage to break free from something. You're tired of people trying to make decisions for you. It looks like you guys are breaking free from some type of pattern. Okay, you're closing some type of chapter on something here. All right, these two jumped out. Somebody here was mad as hell. You was mad as hell about something here in the past. Okay, somebody coming at you with drama. Okay, some of y'all are about to get a flood of subscribers, a flood of followers, a flood of a lot of group of people. Uh, I'm getting like followers, okay? Yeah, okay, see, we got the lovers here. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Something here happened in the past, okay, that was surprising to you, 
Okay, that was real surprising to you. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I definitely see you're working on a business or something to that nature. Like you're working on your finances for sure, for sure. You want to see more of, um, more progress in your, your finances. I'm getting like y'all are getting a flood of, of followers or something. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Two of Wands. See, you're planning and preparing for something here. Like for your money to come in. Like, yeah, the Emperor could be dealing with the Aries. But I'm getting like, you guys are bossing up. Okay. And everybody's watching. You got people watching. You got some followers. Okay. Why is the page of cups here? Somebody's waiting for you to post. Uh, but be careful. Be careful. You may have somebody waiting to post so they can steal your ideas. Okay. So be careful. Be careful. I feel like you already know this intuitively. I feel like you already you already know what's up. Yeah. Uh-huh. You already know what's up. Because here you go, the Queen of Cups. And see, you, you already know what's up. Okay? So maybe you are trying to hide your ideas. Maybe you kind of like blocking them out from seeing your, you know, your stuff, what you post and stuff like that. Why is the nine of wands here? The Eight of Swords. Temperance. Could be a Sagittarius. But I'm feeling like you're blocking people out from watching your story. Okay? Because you feel like these people don't really even like you. They don't even really, they're not even really, you know, not happy for you. Okay, not being supportive. Okay. You out here taking risks. You out here being courageous and brave. But they just sitting around on their ass and they putting in the work. Okay. But they want to come and steal your ideas. Lots of confusion in the past. Okay, we got the King of Cups, the Three of Wands. Two of Cups, like maybe you're waiting to reunite with someone from the past. I'm seeing since in Pisces this energy, but I'm getting that there's a lot of confusion going on in the past. Okay, but I'm not going to too much elaborate on the past. Um, it looks like you know some people's true colors showed themselves. So now you're moving strategically. Okay, you're you're moving with a plan, strategy. And see, there's something here about your money. Okay, and the King of Pentacles, like you're being more private. Okay, you're being more private here. Some of y'all are dealing with a uh, Capricorn. People are getting get ready now. People are, are looking at your work, looking at something that you created, looking at something that you built, okay? I feel like you're inspiring a lot of people as well. Okay, the lovers and the queen of cups, okay? You're feeling at my ear. You're feeling love. You're feeling, you're feeling the love, okay? You're feeling the love here. You feel very much so in, very much so in control, um, and you feel like you got things under control, okay? After it's, it took you a while to get to, to that point, though. Yeah, see, you're progressing, you're moving forward. Some of y'all are dealing with the cancer. You're progressing and you're moving forward. You're progressing, okay? And, and people are watching. 
and see how others view this they feel like you're doing something that's not traditional okay you're doing something that is isn't right um and so it looks like you're setting trends it looks like you're doing something that uh something that you created yourself that everybody you know it's something exclusive that everybody is either afraid to do or you know they've never seen it before okay they feel like you're going to somehow have some type of regrets okay but they do see you shining okay they do see you shining they see it we be dealing with the taurus yeah see they're gonna wait and see they're just sitting in the background waiting to see in how this goes how this is going to turn out okay on your new projects like they're just waiting to see they sit in the background they're not they're not doing any speaking they're not doing any liking no sharing no nothing they're just sitting back watching to see if it's going to rise up or see if it's going to flop okay mm -mm. why is the death card here yeah see you feel like they aren't being supportive okay then they need to go. You ain't got no use for them. There's no use for them if they're not supporting you while you're on the up and rise. It's no use for them. That's what they're. That's what they aren't getting. You want to support it while I'm doing it. Don't wait till I get hot and then you want to come and support. Mm -mm. Why is the judgment here as the outcome? I feel like you've made a final decision, honey. You've made a final decision here. That you're going to be brave and you're going to keep enduring. You're going to keep manifesting. They can watch however, however the hell they want to watch. But you're going to continue to manifest, okay? Why the strength card here? We got the Empress and the Two of Cups. You could be collaborating with someone else as well, too. Ooh, there could be a pregnancy here as well, too, with the Empress here and the star. Why is the Empress here? The Fool, okay? See, some of you may be collaborating with another, uh, with a female. It could be a business relationship. It could be with a Leo Sagittarius Aries, okay? Could be wanting to collaborate with you. Um, and manifest here, okay? And manifest something here. Make, making new ideas, being real creative, okay? Investing. And see, they may be, uh, you know, coming to you for advice because they see that you know exactly what it is that you want, okay? You know what you want. And you're going after what you want. And I feel like people are sitting around you know, trying to wait to see how things go. And if it goes good, then they'll jump on the train too. No, mm -mm. it don't work like that. It does not work like that. And for a lot of you, it may be family members that are doing this. Maybe people that are so-called your friends that are supposed to be your friends. They ain't real. They ain't real. <laughs> they ain't real. They ain't real. They ain't. Let's see what other messages we got for you, Pisces. Are there any additional messages for my Pisces? We got reconsider, communicate clearly, and listen to your intuition. Helpful people. Ask your angels, okay? Ask your angels, are these people helpful? Are they beneficial to you? Are they there for the right reasons? Okay. Why is reconsider here? Oh, okay. Something here um, I'm seeing as well too. Uh, I'm getting Capricorn's energy here as well too. It's something here about you guys, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting that some type of truth or clarity uh, needs to come, okay? You need to get all the, you need to reconsider uh, something that you said or 
uh, a action that was taken or an apology I'm seeing as well too. For some of you, it's a marriage involved, okay? Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, I'm seeing a marriage here. I'm um, seeing like to stop arguing or stop being petty. Stop doing, it's just something I'm getting like to, uh, this is going, something needs to be reconsidered. So the disagreeing and the pettiness and all of that can come to an end, okay? So you can work together, come together on something, okay? Something has been on hold and it's finally starting to pan itself out, okay? I'm getting an apology here. Somebody saying that they're sorry, okay? And wants, wants to put things to rest, okay? I'm seeing that, okay? So it looks like there may be, for some of you, um, in a marriage or a situation like that, a relationship, there's something that needs to be reconsidered, okay? And I think it's the way that, it's, that you communicate or the way someone communicates towards you. Um, something here about, you know, stop, you know, the disagreement, something that will stop the disagreements, okay? Communicate clearly. Three of Pentacles. Communicate clearly what it is that you want, how you want to work together, okay? How you make final decisions. Consider... For some, this definitely is the husband. Consider how the other person here feels, okay? Judgment. Yeah, the five of cups, okay? It's like somebody here is regretting a decision, okay? Gonna regret a decision later, okay? I'm getting the high priestess and the eight of pentacles, um, intuitively, you may feel like someone here is putting in effort, but I'm getting somebody's going to regret a decision later. Why is the two of wands here? Somebody's overthinking. Somebody's overthinking. King of Swords and the Eight of Swords here. King of Swords and the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Somebody here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, somebody here overthinks. Um, and they're possibly going to regret a decision later. Because they're overthinking, okay? They're overthinking something. Overthinking something. And somebody here needs to communicate clearly, okay? And someone comes off as really negative and kind of like all over the place, okay? Now, we got listen to your intuition. If your intuition is telling you that somebody is spying on you, they are, okay? They are. Could be a Libra. But somebody's watching you, watching to see if there's going to be a divorce, okay? Yeah, I'm getting like somebody wants to know the T. Why is the Three of Swords here? Knight of Wands, somebody wants to know if somebody's getting a divorce or if someone is going back to someone, okay? If somebody got the courage, the balls to go back to someone, okay? Somebody doesn't want you to go back to somebody. They feel like some somebody is a liar or a cheater or sneak, um, and it may hinder your growth if you were to go back, okay? Someone feels like they're trying to give you a chance to think about something. We got the devil here. It's Capricorn's energy, okay? But somebody, you you feel like, you you feel intuitively, you feel like somebody here is going to put some effort in or is trying to put some effort in. But it's for some, some reason here, like, you don't feel like you have the confidence or this other person doesn't have the confidence, okay? All right, so... Let's get a few more cards, and then we're going to wrap this up, Pisces. What other messages do we have for Pisces, please, for the month of December? 
What other messages do we have for my Pisces for December? Okay. We got the Ace of Water and the Emperor. The Knight of Air. Somebody is spying on you. Okay? Somebody's spying on you. Somebody's watching. You could be an Aries or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody here is working on their marriage or working on their money. Um, but somebody here is watching to see, like somebody's just watching to see what you're doing. That's me. Um, okay, why is the eight of air here? Ooh, eight of wands. Somebody is scared or afraid to speak up to you or to ask you here we got the king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn eight of, ace of swords libra gemini aquarius but somebody's afraid to ask you something or tell you something they feel like it's too risky something about that something about what happened in the past somebody feels betrayed okay and somebody got blocked somebody got blocked and cut off here but somebody is like afraid to to talk about it I'm hearing making everybody, uh, make everybody get involved, but they want to wait to talk about it later. Okay. I'm hearing that as well. Four of air. I'm getting a husband here. I keep getting a husband. These are both husband cards. But somebody's trying to get have a chance or thinking of a, a you know, thinking of some type of way to mess something up with this five of wands. Or somebody thought that somebody was trying to mess something up between them and their husband. Um, but I'm getting like there's an ending here and the world is here as well, too. Like there's a closing of a friendship, a friendship and all that is over with. Somebody's waiting on somebody to feel left out or rejected. Um, but surprisingly... You thought maybe some of y'all thought that somebody or somebody felt like that you were you would feel left out in the cold, but actually they're surprised that you're actually doing well. You're doing very well financially. You're doing very well um, with you know recognition and things like that. And they're surprised. Somebody's just like wait. I'm getting like somebody's waiting on somebody's downfall. Yeah. But somebody is scared to ask you or tell you the truth. Or somebody's scared to tell somebody the truth. For sure, for sure. Um, I don't know what that's about. But somebody's afraid to tell somebody the truth about something. Somebody's afraid that somebody's going to get mad. Um, and it's something about the past. Okay. But it looks like moving ahead. It looks like with the Six of Water, somebody's just going to just let it go. Okay. Somebody's just deciding to let it go. We got the lovers. Could be a Gemini. Somebody's saying like they're a bad mother or something to that nature. Yeah, see, somebody here is going to move on and, you know, start fresh. And, leave, and somebody here is going to leave this in the past. Yeah. Yeah, see, I feel like you don't know what's wrong with someone. You don't know what happened. You don't know what the issue is. You love this person, but, you know, you just don't know what, what happened, what's wrong. I'm getting an apology, okay? Somebody apologizing, um, taking the first step and apologizing, Yeah, I'm getting like somebody waiting to talk about it later. Okay, so for some of you, I'm getting a few different storylines. Like, you got some people that's, you know, I feel like you guys are focused solely on your finances and your career and your business. And, you know, you're focused on you. 
Um, but it looks like there was some type of issues going on in the past. Okay, it looks like in the past it was just a lot of confusion. Like I'm getting like a lot of people involved. Somebody still doesn't know what happened or what went on with that. But it looks like either you or whoever is involved is going to decide to just let it go and, you know, move on from it. It's, it's no biggie. But I am getting that somebody may have gotten blocked. Somebody, you know, I feel like the cutoff is going to be real. The cutoff is real. Like, it's, it's like no hard feelings, but I can't deal with you like that no more. Like that type of vibe, you know? That's what I'm getting. Um, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Until next time, ciao for now.